Hello everybody and welcome back to Wilderness Adventures UK. Now in this video, it's only going to be a short one I'm afraid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare this wafer's steak and vegetable uh, MRE I suppose you could call it, to uh, this army issue, steak, vegetable and potato. Uh, both of them are in date as far as I'm aware, yep they are. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in my little fake jet boil down here, both together. I'm going to get them cooked and I'm just going to compare them. So it's just going to be a comparison. Um, basically because this cost me £4.50 for the branded one. And this one you can usually pick up from sort of 7 50 to 12 quid for a full uh, 24 hour ration pack, like an army issue ration pack. So uh, you get a lot more bang for your buck when you buy these because obviously you get three, four different little meals. You get your breakfast, you get your... your your dinner and then you get your supper and you can get loads of nit bits and, and condiments and teas and coffees in a proper army ration pack. So bang for your buck, uh, the, the army ration packs are a lot better if you can find them. Um, but if you can't find them, I just wanted to see how this tastes compared to this. Now as I mentioned over in the main video, uh, which will probably have been out a few days now, um, none of these are absolutely perfect for you. I mean if you have to and if you like waiting and you don't want to carry all your fresh ingredients in, these, you know, will do you once every now and again. But if you were to bloody survive off these, I'd hate to see your insides. Um, this one has uh, quite a lot of, of E numbers, obviously to keep it fresh, because the, the shelf life on them is absolutely amazing. Um, this one, I can't see anything too bad in it, to be fair. Um, but it does have uh, a lot of salt um, and, and other things that, that I've been recently watching and putting into... Um, putting into my body but as I say um, as a one-off I'll um, put my neck on the line I've done worse things on the channel to be fair like drinking from pond water so I'm sure eating two of these isn't gonna kill me tonight but uh, yeah I'll um, quickly flick the camera down show you how you cook an MRE I'm sure you all know you're not all dumb but for those who are new to this you know for any kids watching that want to get out and get into it I'll show you how to how we prepare these um, yeah, so you've got an idea of how to use them. Right, so I'm going to apologise for the dodgy lighting. I'm doing this, obviously, well, it's only half past eight, but it's winter time, so, so it gets, uh, it gets uh, dark from about five o'clock. But uh, yeah, I'll do my level best just to show you how to do this. But all you do with these, fold them up, stick them in your cup or your pot. I'm going to try and force two in. So uh, get out your sharp implement because there's no way you can open this with gloves. I'm just going to cut the outer packaging off. I'm not actually going to cut the inner packaging. Uh, put that back in my pocket so I don't lose it because I'll be most upset if I lose that. So these you don't tear them or anything. When you're doing it this way you don't tear them or put a hole in them. Just a seal packet, fold it in half or if you've got a bigger pot you don't have to fold it in anything. But just stuff them in your pot as far down as you, they, they'll go. Ideally, you should have a bigger pot for doing two, but I haven't. So this is going to have to do. Surround them with water. Make sure water's getting right the way around them. So you don't boil your pot dry. I'd say you want them just over half of the packet underwater. Any more water than that, it usually you usually find that it boils over and you don't want that to happen. Right, and then all you do, fire up your jet boil or whatever cooking system you're using. And wait. And then when it starts boiling, turn it down so it's not an aggressive boil, but it's still boiling. And um, just leave it there for about 10 minutes and then flip it over. So turn them, the packets upside down, put them back in the water, obviously wearing gloves because they'll be hot and then boil them for another five minutes. And then it should be heated right the way through. I mean, do leave it a little bit longer. Obviously do a touch test if it doesn't feel hot enough. If it's not so hot that it's burning your hand and it's not ready in my opinion. But um, yeah, I'll fetch you back when these are boiling and uh, we can discuss a little bit more. Right guys, so this has now been boiling for a good seven, eight minutes. So I'm just quickly gonna grab the packets, flip them over, hopefully without getting third degree burns. Number one, number two, 
takes a fair amount of concentration. Just flip it upside down. I've already flipped that one because I can feel however. Yep, I have. Leave it just the same amount of time on this side, just so it gets an even heat right the way through it. And then let the feast begin. Right guys, I'm back. It's been about another five, six minutes. I'm gonna call it because I'm hungry and I'm greedy. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna knock off my cooking sauce, my heat sauce, or take it off the fire or however you, you're cooking these. I'm gonna grab the first one out, let the water drain off, give it, obviously do this with gloves, give it a bit of a swish about so it suitably gets stirred. One of them's leaked a little bit. By the looks of things, just pop it out the way, do the same with the next one. Give it a bit of a mix around. Make sure the heat's been distributed evenly. I was going to make a brew out of that water, but there's loads of bits in the bottom and I'm not going to. So I'll make some fresh water for a brew in a minute. That's not important. Right, I will um, reposition the camera and we'll let the tasting begin. Right, everybody, I just take a seat and we'll let the taste test commence. You're going to try these as well and give your verdict, Leon. I will. Good. I will indeed. Right, so this is the Wayfarer branded version I'm opening first. We're going to take all our rubbish out with us. So I'll, I'll show you that tomorrow. I haven't packed any of the rubbish. I haven't even got a bin bag out yet. So we've left a bit of a mess, but we will be cleaning up before we leave. Smell, smells good. It does actually smell all right. What is it? It's uh, steak and vegetables, this one, I think. Mm. And the other one's steak, vegetables and potato. But I looked all at right. the ingredients on this one and this one's got potato in it as well. Yeah. Good comparison. Though. Isn't a potato a vegetable anyway? Yeah. It's a root vegetable, isn't it? Yeah. So steak and, ve and vegetables kind of covers it. I think they've got complex carbohydrates, haven't they? The amount of sugar. Right. Yeah, make sure you're wearing gloves when you're picking up the pot packet after, after being freshly boiled. Sorry, got a bit of a stutter then. But yeah, once you've freshly boiled these, make sure you're wearing some sort of protection on your hands, otherwise you're going to burn crap out of yourself. I mean, it's tasty. It's good. Let's try the military one and see what this one's like. Do you know what? They both smell exactly the same. Just looking at it though, I've put one, one spork full there and the amount of beef I've got on my spork is just un untrue. Whereas when I took a spork full of that one, it was mostly vegetables. And they taste absolutely identical. For me. But I'll get a proper connoisseur's verdict in here. <laughs> I'll pass them over to Leon and Leon can have a bit of each and tell me what he thinks. But for me, I can't tell the difference. Which is um, a bit of a boring, <laughs> boring video really. I was hoping to say, yeah, this one's brilliant all that. But no, they, they, they might, have, might have well been packed up in the same company, one branded, one unbranded. As far as I'm concerned, um, tasty. There's nothing wrong with either of them. Leon's just having his first forkful. Obviously, you're, you're focused on me, but Leon's just had his first fork, forkful of the Wayfair one. I'll pass him the. Uh, Definitely tasty, mate. Yeah, yeah. They're good. There's nothing wrong with either of them. 
I'll pass him the army ration pack and he can try that. There's more meat in this army one. Yeah, I, I said exactly the same to the camera just then. Yeah, there's loads more meat in the army ration pack one. It's, it's mostly veg in, in this one. Which is good. Veg is good. They're using the same sauce, aren't they? That's what it is. Yeah. The same broth, like the same sauce. Yeah. That's it. Same, same thing. Yeah. There's a lot more meat in that one, though. A lot more meat in the army ration pack. Uh, vegetables, obviously. In the wayfair. Um, that just must be the, that might have been just the way it's come out of the machine. We, do, we, <coughs> we don't know to be sure. Um, but yeah, they, they both taste very, very, very similar. Um, you'd have to have a dog sense of smell to be able to tell the difference, to be fair. And as I say, they might have well been packaged in the same um, company. And one's branded and one's unbranded, just the packaging's different. But um, yeah, they're both delicious, nothing wrong with either. I'm going to... Um, Leave this video there. It was neither good or bad for either of them. If you can find the army ration packs, I would go with them because you've got to get a lot more bang for your buck. But the Wayfarer, £4.50. If you're going out for a couple of nights, it's nine quid for a couple of meals. Saves you taking in all your ingredients yourself. Um, although I wouldn't survive off them for a few days, I, I would subsidise it with some normal fresh food. Let's say fresh food. And then you can take from that whatever you want. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this little uh, 10 minuter. Um, yeah, tune in for more little 10 minuters over the next few weeks. And hopefully we'll have a full length video coming through very, very soon. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do subscribe. Um, very, very simple to do, costs you nothing. It's just down below, you click the subscribe button. There's a little bell, if you'd be so kind to click that bell as well, you'll be notified every time I release new content. Um, can I just thank everybody for watching my videos, thank all the new subscribers and I hope you're all very well and you're not suffering with what's going on in the world at all, to be perfectly honest. Right folks, I'm going to leave my ramble in there, you all take care and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye Leon!